In this video, we're going to cover the use of a production study. A production study is set up in Excel, just like any other time study. Data can be collected by an iPad or an Android type device, and then it's going to get into the reporting area. And from here, rather than going to the reports here, we're going to go right into the process analysis where you can summarize the entire process that you've seen over a period of time. As you can see here, this is our standard Excel sheet. A typical production study might be performed on a series of machines, for instance. So here you can see I've got 14 different machines. These are my subjects here. And here I've got my study itself here. And then you're going to pass the information down from the Excel sheet into the data collection device. You're going to perform the data collection, but you can perform it in a certain way that's very unique. And it's going to make it very simple for you to then bring it back up and then summarize it right here. So you can see I have these 14 machines. And here's a, a very summarized uh, version of what's going on here. So you can see we've got a study. We start the study element. And the study element's going to run from the start time to the stop time. The study in progress is going to run for the whole time of your study here. And then what you do as delays happen to the various machines, you start recording the activities of the various machines. So here you can see here's a barcode read error. And it started at this point and went to this point. Here's an alignment error, started from here and went to here. We're just using the start and stop functions on the device. You can see that in a separate video here. So what we've got is we've got a start and a stop time. And then what we've got is just the interruptions to the process that are happening here. Now you can see I've only recorded activities for machine 2, machine 4, 8, 12, and 13. These are subsets of all the machines in the study. Now when I bring the data back in here from the device, now you can see here I've done a very short time here. It's only uh, over just under four minutes to show you what's going on here. Typically, it might be many hours that you're actually recording the data for here. So you can get many different transactions of what's going on here. Once you've got your data back here, though, you just click on the production study here. Give it a couple of seconds. And that information is now presented to you in a chart format. So here you can see, even though we only recorded, going back to the Excel sheet, activities for two machine 2, machine 4, 8, 12 and 13. When we come over here, we actually get all of the machines here, machine 1 to 13. And then you can see when the interruptions, the delays happened on the various machines right here. And here's a study in process, and these are all run times. So when there was no activity on a machine, we assumed it was running. We only recorded the times when the machine was down. And then from here, we can go to the reports area here, and here we've got a production study report. So it puts it up on the screen, and then we just export it to Excel here. You can see it be generated down here starting to build up a series of sheets in here. It's going to summarize your entire uh, production study here. So here in the process summary, this is all tasks. So 92% were value added, 8% was non-value added. Non-value added being the delays. And it shows you here's a study, which of course is the total time. Here's machine one, which nothing happened to. Here's machine two, and you can see 8% of that was non-value added. So you can see in here the occurrences of the non-value added work content in the screen. If we go to the asset details, it covers each machine in turn, machine one, machine two, machine three, machine four, and so forth, showing you the value added and non-value added breakout here. If we go to the machine downtime, this sorts it by the machine with the most problems. In this case, it's machine eight. And you can see uh, its problem was 36% of the time it was down because of alignment issues. Here you can see multiple items here. So this is organized from the largest to the smallest. And then we get the downtime analysis. And this actually summarizes each of the delays that are occurring, which machines are occurring to, sorted from largest to smallest. And then you can see what machines you have to focus on. And here's the total here. So my total downtime here was 4.213 minutes. And this is the percent of time that the line was down. Obviously, you can use that perhaps to calculate the the, uh, the downtime. You might use in your OEE calculation. And over here, you see it in a pie chart that shows you very clearly the alignment is one of the key issues you should be looking at in this particular process. In separate videos in this section, we'll show you how to take the time studies and how also to bring back the data from uh, manually collected data into the same reporting format.